The young Moomins were travelling through a thick green wood in an attempt to reach Moomin Valley before the comet hit the earth. Moomin Troll read a sign. Village stalls dancing tonight. Oh, dancing, exclaimed the Snork Maiden. We haven't got time for dancing. This comet is serious, said the Snork. But we've got two days left before it's due to hit the earth. No need to worry yet. I wonder if they have cherryade at this stall. Everything's drying up in this heat, said Sniff. Let's go and see, said Moomin Troll. Aha, said the shop lady. What a lot of customers. What can I do for you, me dears? The shop seemed to have everything, but Sniff knew exactly what he wanted. Cherry aid, please, ma'am, said Sniff. Fizzy, if you've got it. Oh, hey, we got all them sort of things, my dear. Mmm, mm, lovely, lovely. Mmm, 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 Num. Have you got an exercise book with lines one inch apart? Asked the Snork. Uh, certainly, I, I, I think I got some down here. I, I, I'll just have a look. Here we are. Now then, what colour would you like? Well, I prefer this one, said the Snork. It's more impressive. Now then, what about you, my dear? Moomintrol was rather embarrassed to ask for what he wanted, but finally he said, Have you got such a thing as a diamond tiara? A diamond tiara? What are you going to do with that, bless me soul? <laughs> he wants it to give to the snork maiden, of course, squeaked Sniff. <laughs> He's quite dotty about her. <laughs> it's not dotty to give jewellery to a lady, said the shop lady. You're too young to understand, my dear. Just then, the Snork Maiden herself came in. What beautiful mirrors you have in your garden, she said. The shop lady waved at Moomintroll and whispered, Here you are, a small man mirror, just as good as a diamond tiara. Moomintroll quickly hid it behind his back. Have you any medals, madam? asked the Snork Maiden. Any what, my dear? Medals, stars to hang on the chest. Gentlemen like such things. Oh, yes, of course, medals. I just might be able to find something, she said, and went to fetch a ladder. Well, I, I, I'm not as young as I used to be, but I, 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 I mean, I, well, I've been up plenty of ladders in me time. Look here, here's a medal for you, my dear. Oh, how beautiful. Thank you, just the thing. <laughs> here we are. Oh, that's lovely. This is for you, Moomintroll, because you saved me from the poisonous bush. Moomintroll was overwhelmed, especially when she kissed him. Bravo! 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 bravo. Hooray! Well done! Oh, so now I have a little something for you, Snork Maiden dear, so you can always see how beautiful you are. The Snork Maiden blushed. Now, me dears, are you quite happy? said the shop lady. I'd like you to have these things as presents. Oh, how lovely. Come on, Moomin Troll, said the Snork Maiden. I want to go to the dance. And so they left, thanking the kind shop lady, and went on their way so happy that they almost forgot about the threatening comet overhead. Bye-bye, bye-bye, thank you very much. Uh, well, bye-bye, me dears. I hope you'll come again sometime. <laughs>